to to use your one hour so because there are three readings spend a little time now this is only about 20 or 30 seconds skimming all three of the reading texts and the questions you can decide then which order you're going to do it and where will you start you don't have to start with the first text you could go to the third reading text if you thought that was easier or you liked the questions always note the instructions uh, the different IELTS questions have different instructions, so it may say write two words, write three words, write yes, no or not given. So follow those instructions. If you, if you don't follow those instructions, you will be marked wrong. Think about when you're looking at the questions, the key words in the questions. Can you see any synonyms there? Remember in the reading test and in the listening test, they are going to use synonyms to check your vocab. So the words in the question may not be the same as the words in the reading text. You can also use your um, word form and grammar knowledge to predict the type of answer. Is it a verb? Is it a noun? Is it a plural noun? as we just did with the international organizations and the listening test and then of course you have to find the answers and this will be the big thing and overall remember that you really only have just over one minute per question there are 40 questions you have 60 minutes but you have to read the questions first that takes some time you have to transfer your answer at the end as well so that takes some time so think about just over one minute per question so let's talk about trying to find those answers in that one minute. So what, what, there's a few tips for you here. First of all, look in the questions. If you see some key words like a number, a date, or a proper noun, someone's name, for example, they cannot use synonyms for those types of questions and those words in the question. So you can scan very quickly, where is this number? Where is this date? And then you know where that answer is. When you find the correct answer in the text, underline or highlight it so you're clear. Write the number beside it because sometimes you might go back and want to change and check that answer. If in the text you see some vocab you don't know, generally ignore that or have a guess. Don't waste time trying to understand every single word. You have to read fast, okay? That's the truth. Practice that. Get used to reading fast. If you don't have enough time, you're going to have to have a guess. Now, when you transfer your answers, remember we're going to do this after we complete each of the reading. Remember, there's three of them. So when you finish one reading section, you should be transferring immediately then. Don't wait till the end of the test. Okay, so again, go back to those question instructions. Make sure you're following them accurately. And spelling and word form, you've got to be clear on those. They've got to be correct. You should not be making a spelling mistake because you're just copying it from the reading text.